Good afternoon, I'm back. In this video, I just want to show you how to integrate Clog, the common lisp, OmniFishing GUI into an already existing server-side rendered website. So I have my website here, it doesn't really do much. You know, we just got high uh, and, a, and a P, high written in a H1, and a P and an image, and that's it. You can see that here, and I've written a basic protocol, Ooh to uh, render pages, that's it. And so we want to integrate clog. So let me just show you clog, here it is. Uh, I mean, it's used for making like uh, interactive websites, but uh, we don't want to use the built-in like uh, GUIs that it comes with, which are very useful, but I'm trying to uh, retroactively fit clog into a website I've already made and to like uh, choose which pages and which aspects of the page are powered by clog because you don't need everything to be running purely on JavaScript. So to do that, we just need to take, we need to go to static files here, go into JS, and we have to save jQuery.min.js and we have to save boot.js into our project and we have to modify boot.js we have to modify this part here this is for our local development i'll explain later what you do when you when you serve it uh, like using nginx or something uh so yeah let's do that i mean i i already have these downloaded of course so in my static i have my boot.js and i'll just show you the little modification i make the modification we have that if location.port blah 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 now I've changed where it has uh, location.port. I have changed it to double paren port. Okay. And obviously I have uh, jQuery min here. And so the reason we do this is because we have to serve those for pages we want to be powered by clog. We have to include those as scripts. So if we go to main, we're not including anything our protocol blank site protocol uh, includes some third-party start sheets so we need to specialize script uh, to do that but first if we go into our clog I have written all this already first we want to load our boot.js we are boot.js here yeah, we putting it into a constant using Alexandria to find constant now this uh, website is using Mingle. There is no way to integrate Clog and Mingle together. You can't just like tell Mingle to load Hunch and Two or to uh, using Clog because Clog uses Hunch and Two. Uh, so we have to serve these things manually and get um, we have to get our Mingle running a Mingle powered website to connect to Clog, which is running on a different port. So we're doing that using the uh, double print port, basically. Um, and so if I go into my server here, and I'll choose my clog port, which is clog port, it's just gonna be listening three, four, five, three, five, uh, which is two more than uh, where clack is listening or ningle is listening. And then we're just gonna serve that, say root here on slash static slash boot.js that's all it, all it is and it's replacing the port with clock port and that's it and then we're just going to serve jquery min on uh, slash static slash jquery dot min dot js now we're going to define a new class because if we have if you take a look at blank site it's generic it's a generic protocol that works on our top level class page and so we're going to make a clog page with a subclass, and then we're going to specialize script, which is a product which is using the prog and method, or method combination. And we're going to include scripts source. We have to include jQuery first because boot relies on uh, jQuery. And then we will go into main, main page, and we're going to change main page to be a clog page. Ooh. Helps when I compile it. 
So now it's a clog page. So, however, we haven't actually started clog, but if we go into here and we inspect what's going on, we can see that it is not. Oh, one second. Helps when I compile this too. You can see it's now loading these two. We've got our boot.js and our jQuery min.js. Okay, so now we've done that, we actually need to start clock because it's going to attempt to make a connection and it can't. Connecting to WebSocket localhost 34535, which is the port we specified, but that won't work because we're not listening. So if we go to a server, we are going to clog initialize. Now clog, the first argument is a handler function. And I have the handler function, or at least the basics of the handler function written here. So we are going to use that and then port, clock port. Now put that in here. Now if I hit this, connection successful. However, handle clock connection is not defined. So this is where we selectively choose which parts that's how we select and we choose which uh, like sites, which pages we want uh, to be clog powered. So, and how we, depending on the page, uh, handle it differently. Like we uh, use different clog routines. So if we check in here, here's our clog, clog body. I'm gonna grab our clog body, take a look. In clog body, we have our connection data, which is in here somewhere. What did I, what is it? Clog connection data. Oh, no we don't, we have connection data, which is built on, we have to use clog connection data to get it, which is a hash table. And in the hash table, we have our clog path. And so we are just going to dispatch, basically, on our clog path. So here we can, I don't know, let's, I don't know, we're gonna use a case. We're gonna make this really simple. We're just gonna use uh, use a cond. So we'll just do string equal path to slash. And then we're gonna run the function clog on main. And we're gonna pass in the body and that's it. And then all what you can do is have like a hash table that's uh, an equal p or an equal hash table that uses like a generic function so it's just an association between objects like a, a slash like our root and an object which is an instance of say like a, a new class which is like clog routine or something and then you would have a generic like def generic execute clog or something and then the first thing is the clog routine and then the body and then you would do like def method execute clog oh well, let's actually just do that but def class well I'm not going to build a mapping but we do clog with like main routine or something which works on our main page and then you have this, execute clog, clog routine, oh, it's, uh, C, main routine, and then body. And then we, once we have our body, let's just check my notes. Yeah, once we have our body, we can then do like clog create div, which runs on body, and then we'll just content uh, let div and then p clog create p on div oh. I don't know, we're actually not, we're not using any of those, but so we're not going to use clog on main. In this case, we'll just use uh, execute clog, make instance, 
uh, main routine. Let's see if that works. Nope. Execute clog requires two arguments, so we have to put pass body in. That's just a simple mistake. And there we go. Now this bottom part down here, you can see it's got like the uh, the default IDs that clog gives it. And that's it. So um, in other projects where I am actually using this, I take the string, like the path, I split the path up because you can make hash tables that, that are, will dis, like you can, the key can be a list and I'll split it up. And then I simply associate like uh, that split with a, with a class. And then I look it up if I don't find it, an error. And if I find it, I then just call execute clock with uh, that, the associated uh, class or an instance of the associated class. And that's it. And so when I write my page, like my main page would have, so main in here, have my main page. I then have my execute clog in here, my dev class, which I wrote here, which is main routine. And then I have like a macro, which is like, a macro which is like dev clog page or something. And then I just have like slash. And then you can, write some functions or something to verify the, the uh, path or whatever, but then you just have like main routine. And that's it. So obviously main page has to be a subclass of a clog page for that to work because it's a program method. Anyway, that's it. It's a bit sporadic, but I didn't really want to sit here and write all the code out manually. I mean, I don't actually have a second monitor at the moment, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, my next video will be, uh, Either a presentation on uh, a term I coined, which was based on ideas from Robert Strand, uh, or another video on stuff. Anyway, hopefully this is uh, very useful. Nope. Hey, I had to figure this one out on my own.